Hey guys, it's Deepak with Keysight, uh, back here in Oulu, Finland. Uh, the last couple of years has been very focused on R&D development and pre-commercial testing by our customers, and Keysight has been actively involved. Uh, 2020, we are seeing a ton of network rollouts by the operators, uh, and we very recently announced an update uh, where Nemo platform now supports Qualcomm Snapdragon X55 chipset. And the reason why that is so important for our customers is because um, they now have the ability to test across the entire NR spectrum. So that goes from sub-6 gigahertz all the way into the millimeter wave spectrum. Um, there are also other modes as well, the FDD, TDD mode, the NSA, the non-standalone, all the way into the standalone modes as well are supported by the chipset. Um, and very recently what we did was we went out uh, to one of our customers, a tier one operator in the US, uh, both in Washington DC and Dallas, and we used a phone that is powered by the Qualcomm X55. We used the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, and we did some drive testing using that, and we wanted to show you the results. So all of this RF information you see is from Nemo Outdoor, which is our 5G data collection platform from Keysight. Are used by engineers for both lab and field testing. In this case, the operator had deployed 5G on band 5, uh, which is a low band 850 megahertz. Uh, it is a non-standalone mode deployment, which is why you see the LTE anchor band as well. Along with that, uh, we're showing you the coverage KPIs, throughput, RATCH, along with the layer 3 messages and a full decode of the layer 3 as well.